Hello and welcome to Flory Models Daily Show here on Friday the 4th of October. The sanders have arrived. Yes, the sander we've been out of stock for the last two months is back in stock at last. So after a bit of a delay, um, but again, better late than never, they are back in stock. So now the sander sets are in, so you've got the £10 one or you've got the big £40 one as well for everything in, and the sander is available as a standalone. They're up on the site now. Fill your boots because I get emails about 10 a day at the moment saying when are they going to be back in, when are they back in. They are in now guys, go and help yourself, they're all there, trust me, you've got 3,000 turned up now and then I've got another 6,000 uh, that will be coming in next week. So we are totally stocked up, so in theory we're almost there for Telford, weirdly, that's it now, we should all be set with and ready to go with it. Anyway, big first of all thank you to everybody who joined us last night on the live show which looks something like that. You can go off and find it uh, on the Leslie's live show. Again, I don't know what's going wrong, but we had no technical problems whatsoever, which in some ways is a little bit worrying because let's face it, I don't think we've ever done a show where we haven't had a technical issue. Some point or other, we've lost somebody, we've had bad this, bad that, whatever, um, and it went swimmingly well. Amazingly, considering with the way I'm fudging it is using it as a screen grab and superimposing me into it. So yeah, anyway, it's working. It was great. I think we had really good discussions last night uh, and all the topics we actually covered. Lots of fun. You guys were really interactive with us as well, which is great because then we feed off even more and we'll just do more and more of them. Uh, and it should be a lot of fun. So big thank you to everybody who joined us last night. Remember, you can go and see it. Just click on to obviously live shows uh, and the uh, video ones, the daily vlog page. We're in there. It's thumbnails. You can see it and you can catch up with all of that. There's only about an hour and a half, but it was a really good show last night, I must admit. Anyway, big thing for me today is I've been cracking on very nicely with this. This is actually our SA-11 or Burke missile system. Uh, part one of this will be up with you on Monday. Um, I'm not sure how much it is. I haven't done any of the editing to it yet. I'll probably be doing that on Sunday. But I have to say, slightly disappointed. See, caught you out there. You thought I was going to say it's fantastic. There's just the first time I've built Meng before, and Meng's always been really sharp detail, fantastic, no problems at all. But I don't know if it's just this kit, or perhaps it's just, you know, something that's happening recently, but I've been finding a lot of flash. Now, this is to do with ejector pins, but they're interfering and fouling. And because it's armor, you get the situation where you get a lot of flat things, you know, just going flat on top. If you don't sort out those ejector pin marks and sand them flush each and every one, they stand a little bit proud and they rock a little bit and things like that. And also we were discussing it on the live show last night is that the um, it's got fantastic working torsion bar suspension system on this one and it really is very, very nicely done, but the instructions are crap. They really are. They say it's like a maths equation. You look at it thinking it's simple, it's straightforward, you're just putting it on. But in some ways, between reading the instructions and me trying to do it, I just lost it. And I had to write stop, go back, have another look. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. No, uh, yeah, it was literally like that. It was do my head in. So it was one of those ones where you're doing it, but the instructions just do not help out. They're just a little bit thingy. And then you're supposed to like mirror it on the other side. And you're thinking, I can't remember I did the first way, let alone the second way. But I think we're all in there now. It all seems to be in and good and we're all ready to go. So hopefully, as I said, I can get on with the actual top turret next week uh, as we make our way through it. Other thing, and it's up with you today, so actually you've got part three uh, is up on the Sabre. I did want to get it into paint, but to be honest with you, with the sanders turning up, and obviously I'm at the PM store tomorrow, I've got lots of jobs to do to load up the car and all those things that are going to go for it. Nice four o'clock start again. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't get a chance to paint in it. I didn't want to rush it or just sort of, you know, push through it. I want to do it justice and do it properly, so I'm going to hold off till next week with this one. But part three is up there now. Now part three, I think it's probably one of the most important videos I've done for a while, because we talk about seam lines and making things seamless. And when I say seamless, I just don't mean there's a step there and horrible. We mean those tiny, faint little uh, lines that come from joints. Um, and like I speak about in here, uh, they can come back at any point, literally days, even weeks later. So we talk about why that is, you know, why is it coming back? How is this happening? Because you've sanded it, it looks perfect. You've put primer on, you might've even got paint on, things like that. And then you look at it again and you think, look at that, there's a sink mark in there. Luckily for this, this one and it was the nice thing with this it actually lended itself really well because it did it on cue almost so we did it we sanded it off it was perfect we showed we got the stills of it photos and all the rest of it and then um it was great and you're thinking okay and then a couple of days later i show it again and it was there bright as day it was literally staring you in the face and you're thinking how is that even happening and again we talk about literally taking your time with it 
it's a hobby, putting the kit aside for a couple of days, coming back to it, looking it over, checking, see if it's got any sink marks, anything like, like that in there, any of these little ghost marks, if it's not, then moving on. But really it was talking about why it happens, how it happens, how to get rid of it, and how to stop it happening again, which you can't really do, it's just one of those things with time. But generally I think it's quite a nice video because it's all in black and white with this one. This kit has lended itself beautifully to it. And that is the thing somewhat with the plastics, you know, just going over it a little bit. It's a weld action glue, it's a hot action, it's melting. Some plastics react different to others. Hard plastics usually give more ghosting marks than soft plastics, funnily enough, uh, and stuff like that. But I think it really is well worth a look. If you've ever had that problem, then you're wondering why does this happen to me? Have a look at part three of the Sabre build. I am gonna do a standalone version of it, which will make its way to tutorials as well over the next couple of weeks. So if you wanna catch it in there, you can do that one as well. But anyway, part three is up so that's all of that then it's the the uh, photo etch on the back of this one as well underneath the cockpit glass that area is all done and then we talk about taking out the center seam out of the canopy and polishing that so there's quite a good uh, little video on that one so that one is up with you right now Originally, I was going to do the oil work for this right here. This is the hunter that we've been working on over the last um, Decade no, it feels like it but seriously, it's probably been on the go now for about eight months this kit So anyway, I've um, tidied it up and it's all ready literally now for the oils uh, to go on this particular one and as you might know this weekend on Saturday between probably 11 and 4 um, me Matt and a couple of the other guys hopefully Steve will be there Nathan's going to be there and all the rest of it we're going to be doing a sort of seminar open house tutorial on weathering so I'm going to show you like weathering wash literally how to use it going to show you about using oils how I do it for aircraft and stuff like that I'm going to take up a couple of my other ones so I'm going to take up my Tomcat my Hornet things I've done oils with they're going to come up with me so shoot you can have a proper look but you can see me real time doing it and ask as many questions you like you know and don't forget there's no such thing as a silly question we've proven that many many times on the show uh but yeah so if you want to come up and see us it's in doncaster uh jupiter park unit six uh in bentley road uh doncaster and as i say come up and see us we've got the full store if you want any sanders washes paints kits trust us we've pretty much got everything you could ever want up there now we've got all everything in there that you need for your modeling okay so anyway the best of it all the team's all going to be there so obviously Matt's there because he lives there uh, Andy's going to be there Steve will be there I'll be there Nathan will be there and hopefully a load of you guys will be there as well free tea and coffee and fill your boots as much as you like but anyway I'm going to be doing all about that I know Matt's going to do a little bit of weathering as well Steve's going to hopefully be there and do a little bit of weathering as well so between us all we should be getting you covered as always we will film it Andy's going to be playing cameraman and then I'll Obviously, we'll get that edited next week, and then you can uh, see the video as and when it goes up, as always. This week also, busy week for reviews. Uh, as I said, we had the new sort of layout to everything that's going on at the moment. So actually what we've done now, we've got a situation where Mondays is just gonna be a part. So you will get part one of the actual uh, Burke missile system or the SA-11. That'll be up with you um, uh, on Monday. Tuesday is Q&A, Tool Tuesday, things like that. So we're doing that one. Wednesday, as Wednesday was, is now review day. So we had two reviews up there and a light. So go back and look at Wednesday if you wanna see about the new lighting system. System I'm using but the two kits are up is actually the uh, Academy new tooled 172nd F35A okay beautiful beautiful kit uh, again it's one of those ones where it's just the surface detail I just can't work out if it's right or wrong uh, you know it's this thing I've been up to F35s I've, I've not touched one but I've been close enough to touch one and it never seems as strong and stand out as it's shown on here okay it is almost like a tape finish it is very very thin but I think they've overcooked it a little bit but I'm sure it's like Marmite you either love it because it's pronounced details it makes the aircraft look more beefy and chunky uh, and you can do nice little dry brushing techniques with it and lighten it up or whatever you want to do with it just to show that depth which is absolutely fine the other beautiful thing about this kit and what I love about it most is it's got a fully detailed weapons bay which is on par with anything else that's out there in 48 scale or even the 30 second scale stuff all right so from that point of view i think like i was saying if i was to do this one i would do it in flight okay somewhat uh, nose up slightly pitched over to show off that weapons bay because that's a work of art and it's a shame it's underneath it's a bit like wheel wells you never see them but it is a great kit absolutely fantastic and the markings fill your boots anybody who's only a 35a is in that kit the other one, obviously, big thing this week was the actual final release of the 72nd Airfix Buccaneer. Let's face it, we've been waiting for this kit for ages, and it's finally out after it was delayed about a week. 
Um, done the review of that one. It looks great. In fact, it looks so good. I'm going to build it next week. So the plan is we're going to have a live show around about two o'clock on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Matt's going to be on with me and we're going to build that live. OK, so it'll be over the couple of weeks, couple of Wednesdays. We'll get it built. We've already got ideas for different schemes. Matt's going to do a totally different scheme to the one that I'm doing. And we'll have a couple of Buccaneers built for you so we can give you a full what it's like as a build, as well as my thoughts of looking in the box as well. So that will be up with you next week right the way through. Through. As for the other live builds, like I said, a couple of people messaged me uh, over this week and been saying about when I'm going to start on the Discovery Odyssey. Um, again, this is the thing, Telford is now rapidly approaching us. We are a week, a month away from Telford. See, I almost said it again then. Uh, so we've got one month until Telford. That's a huge, big ordeal for us. I've got to get a load of sanders done. I've got to get all the marketing stuff done and everything that goes with it. So sparing time to do a live build probably isn't going to happen at the moment, especially we're doing that one. So what I'm planning on is obviously we're going to spend a good amount of time after Telford. I'll have my usual week off after Telford and when we come back from it, obviously we'll be hitting that one hard and really going to go to town on it. It's going to be brilliant, fantastic. I've got a shelf lined up for it and everything. I'm that ahead with that one. So fear not everybody, that is coming along with that one. Last up, I have got a present and I haven't even opened it and I can't show you too much because it might have things in here. But this, I think I know what it is. Uh, if it is, and again, I like doing these live unboxings. Okay. If this is what we think it is, which it is. Hot off the press. I have to thank the guys at um, uh, Copper State Models. They reached out to me beginning of this week, said, do you want one? <laughs> I won't say my reply. Uh, but yes, I did. I definitely said, uh, yes, I would love one. So this is the brand new Panzer Wagon, the Romfell. That is very, very cool. They've asked me if they'll build it. And to be honest, I am because I owe them a build. Uh, but thank you guys for sending me this one. What I'll do with you guys, it will get reviewed and everything. And it will be up uh, as a review on Wednesday reviews with you. But that's a quick sneak peek because I haven't even opened that box. I just happened to know what was in there. It's a solid box as well. There's nothing rattling around in there. But if it's anything like all of their other ones, it looks to be an absolute gem. So really looking forward to that one. If it will balance... That's going to be taking a chance. And go on. This is the bit where everyone at home saying, don't do it, don't do it. But you know, you get that thing where you're thinking it's got to because it's going to bug me if it doesn't. There you go. Anyway, great kit, I'm sure. But again, I'll get on. We'll get that reviewed next week and it will be up with you on Wednesday. Right, I'm going to have to take it down because I need to reach me uh, keyboard. <laughs> so uh, don't forget, if you do want to uh, get any of the sanders and things like that, if you pop over to the store area, so there we go. That's the actual sander packs. You can get those in there at the moment. Don't forget members, you get your 15% off. Go and get the code from the forum. And then at the checkout, there's a coupon area. Pop that code in there and you'll get 15% off. So that is in there. And then obviously you can get down in here for the actual uh, starter set one as well. Just £10 and you get an absolute shed load of sanders. Um, that won't be around for much longer. So if you want to grab that one quick as can be, it's a starter set. It was our new range thing. It will be dropped at some point and be replaced okay so if you want to get yourself a bargain because literally you're getting a pack and so many extras free with that one if you do it that way don't forget as always uh, they are going to be going out to our friends over at Brevco in the Netherlands so if you're in the EU and you want to get them a little bit quicker they'll get their allocations of those next week and obviously Brett over at High Altitude Hobbies in the US if you want to go direct with Brett he'll have his restock completely of everything that'll be with you then next week as well so we were waiting on the Sanders to come in to complete orders they will all go out now and away we go and as always if you want to grab them as an individual they are down in here this is the one we've been out of stock for the last two months of and there they are so you can go off and grab them anyway into the forum um we've got the various things going on here don't forget guys if you want any of the live stuff it's just down in there but we, what we want to have a look at is the actual group builds and to see how everything is going on down in here so down in the group build area we've got the uh, beaches to the bulge which is our ongoing one at the moment doing absolutely fantastic if we just look in the new section okay darren has done a great job um this is the uh revel uh fighter sorry roger has done a fantastic job on the revel Bufighter. 
Uh, absolutely fantastic one on that. Again, we were talking about this kit and we were saying how at Revell we were discussing kit manufacturers and scales and that like we do. Uh, and we, I was championing Revell, who would have thought it? But I think for the price point and subjects and stuff like that, and it's a good example there of actually they're bringing out some really nice stuff these days. Yeah, not quite Tamiya, but they're nowhere near Tamiya's money and that's why I love them, because they're really nice. Okay, so uh, great job, uh, Roger, on finishing that one. Uh, we've got an Italeri kangaroo from Simon. It will load through. Big pictures. Okay, there we go. So it's like a Sherman troop carrier. <laughs> New one on me. Beautiful work. Lovely detail. This is the thing about having open top. Um, we were talking about some uh, Panzer type half tracks and things like that. Oh, it's great because you can see everything that's going on. Good example of that there. Lovely little dial wrap with a little mini base with it as well. Just to show it off and give it some uh, continuity. Beautiful work. All the stowage items. Very nice job on that. Lots of fuel. Nice brain gun. 50 cal. All the bits you might expect on there just like that. Very nice job indeed. And we've got a P51. To be honest, when we first did this, I thought it was going to be hundreds of them, but actually it's not. So, uh, Witcher has done, this is the Hasegawa 48 scale one. A kit we don't see very often these days. Done a great job on that one. Very nice. Beautiful work there. Good job. Congratulations to you. Medals, don't forget, for everybody who does uh, complete. So Gary has done another Mustang and done the famous Old Crow. Very nicely done indeed. Beautiful. Nice little diorama. Love the coffee ring. Makes it with a coffee ring. Very nicely done indeed. That's a beautiful uh, done job. Love the weathering. That's really nice. It's very subtle in its uh, appearance, but it's actually very nicely toned all the way through as well and chipped. Nice like that. Very nicely done as well. And we've got uh, a Stuart a light tank from Clive. Nice action chop. And there it is, recreated. So that's the original and that's the recreation. Fantastic, very nice. Now I'm going through it now, I'm trying to, you know, see how much it is. Very, very nice job, very cool. Love the sandbags and with the actual uh, hedge cutter or plow. Uh, very, very nice indeed. Congratulations, that's absolutely fantastic. Lovely little direct that one as well. Um, doo -doo -doo, last one. We've got, uh, actually I thought we saw this one last week actually, but we did, this is Bob's one. We saw that one last week, but he did his very nice one down in the day, uh, walking along behind the Sherman. Very nice. Okay, so, and if we just zip back. The other group build we've got going on at the moment, come on, back, 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 there we go. Uh, obviously that's the, the second one of the year, which is going to complete on the 25th of January next year. Currently is 150 builds on the go there, 42 finished. Good conversion, guys. So let's keep going with that and then push through. Uh, don't forget medals going out to everyone. The other one as well, we've got one more finish. That's quite a slow one, to be honest, but it's early days yet. Uh, it's only been going uh, for a month, but it's the Italian job. So it's 27 on the go with this one. And I think this is where we were last time, wasn't it, with that A and B? It is, it's the same one. So we've actually seen that one. Beautiful job it was too. So we're all up to date on there. Remember to take part in any of the group builds. It's as simple as a mini photo build. You don't have to do it completely warts and all with every single stage. We're not expecting that. But if you can just point out the good bits, the bad bits, so people following along, that's the whole point to doing all the group builds and the SIGs is for people in generations to come. Well, all right, maybe not, but you know what I mean. Can come along, have a look at your build and then see where you had problems. And then that way they've got a little bit of a heads up of what's going to happen and they can either avoid it or do something about it a little bit earlier. And that's the point to it as you make your way through with those. Anyway, that is about it. So don't forget, we are going to be live and uncensored and everything in the PM store tomorrow in Doncaster. If you're anywhere near the area, it's well worth it. As I said, it's very, very informal. You just come along. We've got chairs and seating upstairs on the mezzanine level now where we do all the demos and all the bits and pieces. Plus the fact, don't forget, there must be, what, 50, 60 models up there as well. And it's not just mine or the guys. It's everybody's now. Everybody visits the store. We've got people who just come in the shop and want to display their models. So we've got like a mini museum upstairs uh, as well as in the display cases downstairs as well so if you want to come and see those get inspired have a word with the guys buy a few bits ideally uh, it'd be much appreciated 
Anyway, that's it from me. As always, on a Friday, I'm going to leave you with your great work for the gallery. So till Monday, or in your case, it'll be Tuesday, you'll see me, because obviously, don't forget, Monday, I'm not here, but the first part of the actual uh, Burke Missile System will be up. But I will see you all for Q&A on Tuesday. So till later, guys. Happy modelling. Take care. Stay.